Friday. Welcome to Europoc News. Today's news takes a look at the financial situation of research in Europe, the latest cartoons on the Euro tariff, and a village in Romania. So let's go. Carrying out a research project is tough going and requires meticulous preparation as well as a lot of money in order to succeed. And one thing that European scientists lack at, at the moment is the latter money. So the European Parliament has just agreed on a study that lays out numerous recommendations on how to improve the economical impact of cohesion politics. In short, it's a polite nudge to the European Union to dedicate 20% of its structural funds to research. So if all goes well and the money is granted, it's up to companies and institutions of our member states to manage the money efficiently. Appears that newly elected Nicolas Sargosi wants to perform electric shock treatment on Europe. For starters, when referring to the constitution, he wants it completely edited and drafted in a clear, direct and brief language, just like Europocket News. Sounds good to me, but on Turkey's accession, he reckons that they have no place in the Union. He wants to equip Europe with a strong economical government and plans to boost the French economy with a string of reforms. Clearly expressing his views to the EC President Barroso this week, he kept stressing his interest in a rapid agreement. That was his first visit to EU headquarters as French leader, so it might take a while for him to realise that nothing ever happens at a rapid pace there. So although you've got to love his enthusiasm, I don't know who will be too eager to sit first on the electric chair. That was one of the videos that the European Commission released this week to let us all know about the new Euro tariff. Although the new telephone rates appear to be a little bit cheaper, is it really a time for celebration for us European residents with these childish cartoons? Since last July, MEPs have been debating price proposals while we continued being ripped off when roaming. To some, the agreement could be viewed as a success, as from this summer, Europe's internal market will really become borderless, even for mobile phone bills. But it's now when we should be getting freebies or compensation from our mobile phone networks, instead of compensation cartoons from the European Commission. How can Europe portray its real image? Do we have enough technical means to inform and transmit an image of Europe in first person? That's what the organisers and participants of the first European Image Festival that will take place this September in Paris intend to answer. For Hervé Chevalier, the organiser, it's fundamental to give a European dimension to the festival and make Europe stronger when faced with US and Asian competition. And finally, let's go to Romania and in fact to a little village in the east of Bucharest to find out why the Romanian comedy by the director Perumbo won Best Feature Film at Cannes last year. Not arriving in the UK till September, here's a glimpse of 12.02 east of Bucharest. Cu ce m-am îmbrac, zi? Ies costumul negru. Alb și negru? Atunci ies ce vrei, numai să ne aduci salariul. Deci, domnule Mănescu, tot eu Virgil sunt. Hai, adeți, domnule, spuneți-mi exact dacă puteți sau nu puteți veni la emisiune. Da, eu mă auzit că mă duc la școală, iau salariul și îți dau toți banii. Hai, mă, că am o emisiune azi la televizor și am emisiune. Și eu sunt. Și eu sunt. Despre revoluție. În această zi se împlinesc 16 ani de când Revoluția Română... Unde dicționarul ăla? Care e dicționar? De la mitologie. Păi zic că a început la București, am ieșit și eu. Uite că domnul Mănescu nu se simte că a fost în aici. Well, that's all for today and in fact, this week. But I'll be back on Monday with a lot more Europocket news. So I'll see you here. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.